Synthetic fuel as an alternative to petroleum. That is a long-held dream of German engineers. In Dresden, this dream now became true. A team of the company Sunfire finally succeeded. The newly designed fuel is called Blue Crude. This is the plant where it is produced. This is unique. As soon as it is through, it doesn't happen again. It's as good as a drop of cooled off wax. In relation to the demand, the fuel quantities are still small. That initially flow from the plant crystal clear and as cold as iced vodka. We started with it in 2012, now it's 2015 and we're happy we have managed it so fast. True enough, the pilot plant has only been running for a few weeks now. Sunfire wants to prove that the fuel can even be produced at an industrial scale. The plant is an energy converter. On one side, you take a source of energy, renewable energy such as wind, solar or hydro, and chemicals, carbon dioxide and water. Then charge the mix with this energy. Finally, you get an energy source. Basically, that's the new thing about this plant. You produce a source of energy that the world already knows, namely hydrocarbons. In the shape of petrol, these are processed by the refineries and the fuels we know come out. The environmental benefit, the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is turned into a resource. Plus, as only electricity from renewable energy sources is used, the petroleum substitute is climate neutral. Even though the process is very sophisticated, in theory it sounds simple. There are three steps. The first one is electrolysis. That's when the water is split up into hydrogen and oxygen. Conversion is the second step. That is when the carbon dioxide is turned into carbon monoxide. In the third step, the carbon monoxide is united with hydrogen, creating hydrocarbons. The single steps of the process are not completely new. Anyhow, by building this electrolysis plant for the first step, the engineers from Dresden have significantly optimized the process. The efficiency of this converter is very high, since we work with steam and not with liquid water. Regarding the efficiency, we are close to the limits of the possibility within thermodynamics. The anticipated price range for the new fuel lies between 1 and 150 euros per liter, depending mainly on the electricity price. More expensive than fossil fuel, however within what customers are willing to pay at the filling station. However, the new fuel is not only superior to the old one because of its environmental record. The properties are really good, as it doesn't contain any aromatics. This means it burns soot-free, as it has a straight molecular chain leading to a high so-called cetane number. For diesel, it's the octane count. If that is very high, you have a cleaner and better combustion property. The engine runs smoothly and produces fewer emissions. Plus, there aren't any sulfur emissions as this fuel is sulfur-free. One of the project's supporters is the Federal Minister of Science, and the first litters are intended to fuel her official car. Here you can see the car being filled with it for the first time. This is really a premiere. <laughs> However, the plant designed in Dresden is supposed to deliver much more than fuel in the future. The plant can be operated either way. We can fuel it with electricity on one side and receive fuel on the other side. Or we can take combustible fuel in order to generate electricity. Just aspects which raises the economic advantages of the project. The technology could thus become a key technology and solve some of the problems of current energy policies. In times when sun and wind are a bit weaker,